not rock it so much. I mean, most people don't know how to do this. <laughs> most people don't know how to do this. Because, it, and it, most people don't like to do it because it's a mess. I mean, yeah, it looks it's like... It's just messy as hell. It looks like it's going to be a mess. So just get gloves on. And that's why when you first drop it in the bag, uh, if I know for a fact I'm going to cut it, I'll not even drop it in the oil. I'll just bring it out, set it off the side so it don't get all shitty like this. Yeah. But that's just me. I'm just angling like that. Okay, so you put it in the vise. Yeah. Okay. This is called a filter cutter. Now, as you filter can cutter. see, this one oh, is practically sharp... brand F and new. Yeah, that's cool. So this goes in the center, this cuts the edge. Ah. This one. And you just crank it you start down. Start it and spinning it. Until it's, yeah, and just nice and snug. Make a pass. No way. Another pat, and then just and every time you bring it around, just give it a slight a little, crank. Little more. Every, so it's cutting it slowly. It just cuts it slowly, or no rush. That is too and then cool. you'll hear it in just a second starting to pop. Oh, sorry, we're getting. Oh, yeah, that's, it's, that's, that's mostly cut off. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is no worse for the wear. Yeah. Swipe it off. Yeah, that thing will go forever. That is a great tool. These are 60 bucks a piece new. What's that thing called again? Filter cutter. Filter cutter. Now, here's the deal. You're going to laugh when I tell you this. I literally have two of these, and here's why. I thought I had lost this one. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find it for the longest time. So I ordered a brand new one from KRC Racing. Got a brand new one. So I have two. If you want this one for 45 bucks, you can have it. Right. it. I mean, it's up to you. I don't care. Right. But there's your center pieces. You got different sizes you can okay. put in. Okay. So you, everything you need for it is here. Very it's cool. That. But I don't need two of them. Oh, wow. So Sudden you toss them. That goes there. It's going to start can, dripping. Yeah, of course. And this center section just comes off. In there and then this oh that's gonna be a oh yep and just catch it that's all you can do oh man and then just park it like something like that and that's about all you can do yeah and then it just, just let it drip off sit and it just has to get rid of some of the excess now there's no simple there's no clean way of doing this. yeah it's now fine you're gonna see steve there. has a, a filter cutter across the way that's Real fancy, you need crank piece to put it in. It's, it's a whole ton of work. Sounds like it's I, unnecessary. Yeah, I'm like, okay, whatever, but this is much, much more expedient. This is this is totally fine the way you did it, it looks like. The way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to take a few extra paper towels here. Let me just let me open this back up. I just want to catch the drips, that's all I'm trying to do. Yeah. Here. So I don't make a mess. So many people that do this kind of stuff are just messy. Alright, now, once you got it there, get you a big old, just a big old knife. <laughs> you just take a knife. This is just a plain old butcher knife. And I start at the middle where the metal is. Because there's a metal connect connector got right it. there. And I'm just going to drop right over here. <laughs> Just cut it down to the center, no and you can feel the you can feel you can it feel the metal grind when, it, when, it, when it gets to the center. Yeah, you can feel when it gets to the center, and and I've seen other people spend 15 minutes do literally what I'm doing right here. It's gonna take me about 60 to 30, 90 30, seconds. 30 seconds. I mean, well, per side. Oh, okay, you gotta go to the other side. Both sides. But just a big old butcher knife. No way. I had no idea this is what they meant by. Cut the filter. I mean, literally. I thought it was just there. cut that part open. Well, you do. Yeah, but then you got to do that. But then this. here's how you look at the pleats. You can't see the pleats. What's the pleats? This is a pleat. Okay, you want to see the if there's debris the underneath there. We're looking for the debris. That's the whole point of cutting your filter. That's right. Is to get it open when you can see it. And then once I get it cut like that, just kind of separate it. If you can get it, ever get it started, once you get it started, coming the out. The whole thing will come out. Usually comes out pretty good. Oh, wow. This you know. looks like some sort of cardboard material. It, it kind of is. Now, most of the time, that's enough cutting when I just did. 
You just take your fingers and just kind of bunch it up and pull it out. Wow. Just take your time. There's no rush in this. You don't want to cut your fingers. That's right. So the oil is being forced in there and out through those holes. Actually, it's the other way around. Oh, other way around. It comes in from the outside through the pleats and goes out back to the engine through here. Oh, I see. Now, so you're going to be looking there. Do. So we're going to take this outside to the sunlight. If you have super bright artificial light, it'll work. But honestly, if you just come in here, so see that piece of black stuff right there? Little black particle? That particle. Yeah. That's a piece of steel, prob That's a piece of probably. Yeah. Probably a piece of metal. So what I'm looking at, and it tends to gather in the bottom of these pleats. Yeah. Because that's where the return side is. That's right. It pushes it to the low point. Well, so I'm just looking. little piece right there. Yeah, little piece. Little pieces are perfectly normal. There's a little. Okay, there's a third piece. Okay, that's. It's kind of a chunk. Three. Yeah, that's a kind of a chunk. So that oh, one. There's another one. See, this is all. Knife did that, yeah. Okay, so there's a few little chunks. Let me ask Steve's opinion on this. 